I'm Vivian Yam, the Philip Wong Wilson Wong Professor in Chemistry and Energy and Chair Professor in Chemistry. My research interest is in the molecular design of light emitting materials, particularly metal complexes. These days we are facing the upcoming depletion of fossil fuels and energy is really an issue that we are facing throughout the world. And so either we find uh, new sources of clean renewable energy or if you can find processes that could more efficiently make use of our existing energy. For example, for lighting purposes, which constitute around 19% of the total power that is being consumed on Earth. My research is in synthetic inorganic organometallic chemistry, and I'm interested in the molecular design and synthesis of new classes of light-emitting materials, and try to understand the nature of the light emission and how one can really use chemical methods to tune the emission colors as well as energies. I was inspired by the very colorful world we have in nature, and so I'm very much interested in, in the very colorful transition metal complexes. So what I'm doing here is uh, I make solutions of my metal complex. The soft oxygen has to be removed using liquid nitrogen because oxygen usually would quench phosphorescence. This solution, which is free of oxygen, uh, will be used for measurements of the luminescent properties. You can see the very different colors, like rainbow colors here. And actually, it's the same compound dissolved in solution, but just the different solvent composition would affect the extent of their interaction between molecules and will give you very different colors. And so we try to understand how we can control these interactions in order to assemble the molecules. Some of our luminescent materials can be used as OLED materials. OLEDs is in fact organic light emitting diodes. These are materials that will show luminescence when you apply a voltage onto it. Particularly if we can find the way to make the three primary colors, the blue, green, and the red, then you can have multicolor full color display devices, as well as you can also make the white organic light emitting diodes, which will be very important for solar state lighting. We are finding more energy efficient processes for lighting. So that means with lower power input, you get the same brightness. And so it's sort of more energy saving. I think we are filling the gap here because uh, most people have been just to modify the molecules. But here, the uniqueness is uh, to find um, luminescent metal complexes that emit phosphorescence. And we are particularly very good at tuning the intermolecular interactions. How the molecules assemble themselves, how they orient themselves, would be already able to tune the colors as well as the luminescent uh, properties. I think OLED is a little bit mature right now, but still we are in the hope of finding more efficient OLED materials that are patentable. On the other hand, I think with luminescent materials, in fact, we can make use of it to develop sensors and probes for molecules or ions of biological and environmental interest. And also we are working on a lot of strongly light absorbing materials that probably would give rise to uh, solar energy conversion like organic uh, solar cells and so on. Hong Kong U uh, chemistry has a long tradition of doing research. And even in the 60s, 70s, 80s, a lot of senior professors, they are already uh, working on very important problems, even in those days with very sort of uh, restricted um, and limited resources. They really set the role model for me to really follow their footsteps. I think we all have the desire to strive for research excellence, and I'm really optimistic in seeing the bright future in Hong Kong U chemistry.